हेलो माय डियर फैमिली मेंबर्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर अपकमिंग कॉग्निशन टेक्निकल असेसमेंट टुडे एज ऑल ऑफ यू नो मेनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हैव गिवन द टेक्निकल असेसमेंट एंड आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू शेयर द कोडिंग क्वेश्चंस ऑफ फर्स्ट एंड सेकंड स्लॉट एंड द एग्जाम इज लाइव स्टिल सो दैट्स व्हाई इट विल बी वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू बिकॉज द लास्ट video i have uploaded before this video that was regarding ascii and the same type of questions has been asked in the slots so i am not just joking please visit techno uf youtube channel and check the last video of cognizant coding questions and the video was regarding ascii and the same type of questions has been asked to the slot at 25th of april so let me share that questions but before that to get all this type of common questions please visit topmate.io slash techno underscore uf and visit cognizant placement materials there you will get all the common questions most of the common questions you will get aptitude including game based aptitude dot net java python codings like sql html css javascript communication assessment mock test interview experience everything just visit and have that materials so that you don't miss anything okay so let me share the question so the question is this uh, you are given a list of symbols printable ascii characters okay so you are also given an ascii value you need to find two symbols from the list whose ascii value when added together equals to the given ascii value if found return the pair else return minus 1 so basically uh, let me just show the task actually the question was uh, like bigger i have just have uh, shown the gist okay so these are the main objectives so that's why i am just made it simple for you okay so the question is like let me show the input the list of printable ascii characters here so this will be the list of ascii characters and the number of printable ascii characters will be a second input and third input will be integer value the target value okay and return a string pair of two characters so this is the sample input let me just share that so e b c d so these are all list of ascii characters okay and this is the size of the uh, like list or array okay and this is the target value target or integer value okay so uh, let me show how the ev is output so that is ascii value of a as all of you know 97 b 98 c 99 d 100 and e is 101 okay so 100 plus e is 101 plus b is 98 so this becomes 199 right and the target was 199 so you have to achieve this target by a pair okay so as we got that target using e and b this pair so we'll return that as the output but as you can see here c is 99 and d is 100 so it also becomes 199 why we are not taking this because the first pair which will come uh, uh, like which will return 199 or the target value will just consider the first one okay first pair and if there is no such uh, pairs found then return minus 1 okay so i hope you want to right so uh, guys please give the answer in the comment section and if you want the solutions in java then just wait i'm just going to share that before that i'll share the python solutions okay so actually um, the questions can be similar in c sharp java python regardless of your cluster so please watch and this type of same type of questions will be asked to, to you again okay. okay 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 what happened okay so this is the answer but before that let me just uh, explain the procedure to solve the problem actually you have to use word if function which is inbuilt to get the ascii value and um, what you have to run a for loop go through all the elements of the array or the list from the second element to last element and keep checking here after adding the ascii value of first element plus second element if they are equal to equal to the target value or not if they are equal to equal to target value then return the uh return this pair okay so this way you have to 
like get the output so let me share the answer so that it will be easier for you okay so guys before i show you the answer please do subscribe because this motivates me to make more content okay so please do that guys this doesn't cost anything so please show your big heart man so and exam is being conducted right now i am showing you the questions still i am just working from home and i just utilizing this time for you guys okay so please do subscribe and like this video so that i'll be motivated okay okay so let me share that so let me start from the main function so this is the name of the function find symbol pair and it, it is taking three arguments those are the character array and uh, the array length and this is the target value so let me show the implementation so find symbol pair taking three arguments we are going through all the element of this array right e b c d so this is the input for character array we are going through all the element using the for loop of through the this array okay so now we are using another for loop it will cause the time complexity big o of square so this will be no problem for the fast coding questions as this was the fast coding question so for that it will not not be a problem but for the second questions for the advanced coding questions big o of n square may not be allowed okay so be careful for that and if you can optimize this code then please give the answer in the comment section i'll appreciate that okay so this for loop will run for four times this times and then the next for loop is starting from i plus 1th position that is i is here 0 at first so 0 plus 1 so from 1 it will start and end up to 4 this time okay so starting from this at first it is checking here inside the if uh, inside this for loop if order that means ascii value of input 1i this is the input one so input one i means zero right input so this is the ith value at first and this is the j value at first okay so if ascii value of input i this value e so ascii value of e is one zero one plus ascii value of input j so this is the value b so plus ascii value of b that is 90 8 is equal to is equal to the input 3 that is the target is equal to is equal to the target so let's say it is 199 so 199 yes it matched then return input 1i plus input 1j this will just concatenate those value concatenating these characters e and b this way okay it will return this okay nothing else but let's say this is not matched how it will proceed so for that case for that case uh input let's say this is 198 so it will not be matched because uh their both sum will be 199 so it will not be matched in the next iteration it will be uh the i will be uh the same that is zero but it will be incremented plus one so it will be starting from here okay so if ascii value of e plus c is equal to is equal to 198 if not i mean it is not okay so in the next iteration it will check if ascii value of e plus d is equal to is equal to 198 if not then in the next iteration i will be incremented so i will be pointing here and j will be pointing here first i here and j here first then it will check if b plus c is equal to 198 if not then b plus d is equal to 198 if not then in the next time c uh, the i value will be increment uh, incremented and it will be pointing to c and j will point here at d so they will check if c plus d is equal to is equal to this so they will just check that okay so this way it will keep checking okay so i hope you understood so let me share the output okay so in this case what will be the output for 198 that is um e and b not possible because it is 199 so e c this is 101 and this is one this is 99 
so not possible and ed it is not also possible bc b is 98 c is 99 it is not also possible bd b is uh, 97 and uh, sorry 98 and d is 100 so this is possible so answer will be bd okay so let me share that and as you can see bd is the correct answer okay so let me change this value let's say uh, this is 199 okay so a e b c d for this case e and b will be printed okay at as expected but one thing i have shown that is e b this is 199 and c d this is also 199 so eb should be shown this is the first pair so that's why it, it should be shown but let's say it is 1899 so it will not match so it will it should return minus one so as expected okay so i hope you understood so let me share the java solutions then okay so yeah the same way i'll do but uh, conversion of any character into ascii value i hope you know but let me just share that so that it will be easier to understand okay so the same way i have just written i have hard coded this inputs okay uh, you don't have to worry about that because it will be already written in your in, in your case okay so uh, let me just show the implementation of the function so these all will be written for you just implement from here okay just you have to implement up to this nothing else you have to write okay so for i is equal to zero to the input two that is the size of that array okay input 2 is the size of the array so we are just going we are just uh, going or looping for four times okay then inside that we have a uh, another for loop which is starting from i plus one position that is from here okay at first so and also going up to the uh this times okay and inside that we'll check if if the ascii value of the current plus the second one is equal to is equal to the target value or not if this then just concatenate those value okay concatenate those value that means the pair okay if this is if this plus this is equal to is equal to the target value then concatenate this pair okay and if not then check the next if that is equal to equal to the uh, target value then concatenate that and return that okay nothing else so the same way just here we are doing this so input this is the character array okay or string array here string array input one i so i is zero at first let's say i is zero so it will just point to e okay so e dot caret caret i so this will be just uh like it will return a character okay it will return a character that is e okay then it will convert that into integer that will be an ascii value okay so if if, if we convert an a character into integer then it will become the ascii value of it okay so that's why we are storing that inside an integer variable okay so the same way it will do here so i hope you want to do okay so let me share so after all the iteration if it didn't found find any uh such pair then it will return minus one okay so the same way let me just run it so i hope you have watched the explanation while i was explaining the python so it will not be a problem okay so for 199 it will be eb but for 198 it will be bd okay so let me share that guys again i'm requesting you to please do subscribe so that i'll be motivated okay and i'll upload more videos so that you get a common questions okay so i hope you understood again uh, if you want the prime materials then please visit opmed.i slash techno underscore uf you will get to know all the questions all the all such questions which are being common in these days so i hope you will do so so thank you